Arlington Orthopedics. Greg Mace together with Charlie Fortney, and there is Vince Rogers, coach of Susquehanna Township. What's going through his mind? What's he telling his guys? Well, he's telling them right now, he says, guys, settle down. He said, let's make good decisions, keep the pressure on. And he's telling AJ to, you know, keep his head up and just keep working hard, moving without the ball, and, and, you, and you'll get your opportunities. Backcourt pressure now by the Indians. Going for the basketball, Brantley's and wow. lays it home. He's got 13. Well, when you talk to the coaching staff at Hershey, they'll tell you that Harold Brantley is not just an inside guy. And you saw right there that you saw the football rest starting to go away right there. And you saw him playing like a guard with that crossover going to the basket. Rascos, zero. Driving for two. Well, what's interesting is it seems like Susquehanna and Hershey are playing four on four right now because Banus and AJ Dean are guarding each other and neutralizing each other right now. That looks like that foul is, no, it's on, uh, it's on Colton Lewis. Here's Paul Blackburn, first year at Hershey High. A lot of success at Lebanon, his 13th year as a head coach, was also at the Lone and East Pennsboro. We pointed out earlier, he played on those two state championship teams with a thundering herd in Carlisle. Yeah, Coach Blackburn knows how to build a program. So if you're a Hershey fan listening, you're wondering about the rocky start, you can stop wondering. This is a proven coach. Tonight's an example of how this team's uh, starting to, 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 to buy into his uh, his game plan and, and the things that he's bringing to the table. They look very good tonight. Jim Breyer's given his team a six point lead and make it seven. Breyer has seven points and the lead is seven. Two and a half left, regulation. Dean, they got pushed, yep. He's gonna get three shots. Well, and a big three shots coming up here. Well, it's a great opportunity for him to get back in the game offensively here to make a few of these. He's got 19, not a lot here in this half. Now he's got 20. Uh, hit him from three, hit him from way outside. Up again, good again. 21 for A.J. Dean. Well, this could be just as good as hitting the three. Well, and we talked earlier, there's two ways to play against the box and one. You, you run baseline or you bring the ball down the court and Coach Rogers went to AJ bringing the ball down the court on that situation and that's, that uh, looks like the best plan of attack right now to have the ball in his hands. Those are the first three points of the half for AJ Dean after he led everybody with 19. Hershey losing it. Paul Blackburn calls timeout wisely so. 2.21 left, fourth quarter. We're coming down the stretch here on ABC 27. There's something to be said for a company that has survived the Great Depression, weathered a handful of recessions, and emerged from today's challenging marketplace stronger than ever. And it's worth noting that success has come while keeping its headquarters and decision-making local for more than 80 years. Perhaps growing deeper roots to ensure strength and stability is an idea whose time has come. We figured that out eight decades ago. Penn National Insurance. Are color copies really 10 cents? Yeah, 10 cents. It's easy. Call Fortney Printing. They punch in the order, copies get made. Quickly put in boxes. Fortney Printing delivers on time. Wow, only 10 cents. Susquehanna Township High School with a great finish coming up. 2.20 left, just a four point lead. Charlie and I'll be back again, same time, same place, same channel, Tuesday night. Coming up, Chambersburg, Cumberland Valley, 7.30 p.m. here on ABC 27. Well, Susquehanna Township, Jim Gallagher, our, our 
a statistician points out, two of 17 from three-point land. Oh, and that's because A.J. Dean hasn't been shooting the ball, and that's uh, Hershey's plan to take him out of the game. Um, but he just scored a couple foul shots. It's going to be interesting to see how he uh, gets back in this game. Hershey basketball, four-point advantage. A lot of, lot of big pressure here by Township. Want to get the ball back without fouling. Yeah, Susquehanna doesn't need to panic here. They just need to pressure to a turnover. It's only a two-basket game. Breyer, back to Spinagle. Had a shot, didn't take it. There's well, a foul. And they found the right guy because the rest, everyone on that court's a good foul shooter. Uh, Harold uh, hasn't proven himself on the foul line yet. He's going to have a chance to do that right now. And he'll go to the line as Justin MacArthur comes back in. Fourth quarter, live high school basketball action from Susquehanna Township. Minder will have highlights and uh, John Ritchie's NFL wrap coming up as always on Thursday nights on ABC 27 News over on our main channel. That's tonight at 11 o'clock, so hope you'll join us for that. Harold Brantley, 6'4", junior. Set out last year with an injury. Missed it, A.J. Dean. Big trip down court for the Indians. Dean in the paint, nice dish. Shepard through the foul. You know what, for Susquehanna, I'm glad A.J. Dean went to the point because at least it allows him to get other people involved by running the point guard spot. So now Shaquan Shepard goes to the line. Six foot four sophomore. If he gets one of these, it's a one possession game. Vaughn Jones, number 10, he's a junior, he's into the lineup. A.J. Dean talking it over, and so is Vince Rogers. He's the Susquehanna Township coach. Well, Vaughn's in the game for another foul. Because they got a foul here. If, they, if, they, if the game plan on the traps doesn't work, they're going to need to foul the right guy. And there is a foul. So they went to that quickly. That will shuffle guys right back in real quick. Mack and Shepard. Dominic Kent also in now. Harold Brantley goes to the line. His team is up by three. A minute 22 left. Well, Coach Blackburn just wants one of these right now. He probably wants two, but he'll be happy for one because that turns it into now a two-possession ball game, which is, which is better. Brantley's got 14 tonight. And that's a quiet 14, but I'll tell you what, that's a, that's a big 14. And that's a big 15. Wow. And it's a five-point Hershey lead. It's a freshman Gabriel Mack from the outside for three. Justin McCarthy. And Township wants a timeout. Well, they have not been real big at hitting threes, but they haven't hit a bigger one tonight. Yeah, that was a gutsy shot by McCarthy. Nice feed and ball fake by, uh, by Mack. He set that up nicely. And there's a look at the uh, Susquehanna Township crowd. They've been chanting, let's go, Hannah, and a look at the Susquehanna Township cheerleaders. And a lot of enthusiasm for high school basketball as we're just in the uh, first full week of the season. Take a look at us there at the uh, great court position. We want to thank all the folks at uh, Susquehanna Township High School, Peg Penny Packer and uh, Dwayne MacArthur for helping us out here. Yeah, they were very accommodating. 
putting our big banner up, the high school basketball live banner, was probably the trickiest thing to do here, and and they, they were willing to help us with that. You do a, you do you always find creative places to hang that, like <laughs> on the wrestling mat. That's good. Uh, that's pretty big. Well, take a look at the Hershey, and and from the. Uh, from the field, uh, from, from the line, I should say, Hershey is 21 of 28, Susquehanna Township 10 of 13. So there's an 11 point difference from the line. Well, but in the second and a half, that's a lot closer to even, so that's good for Susquehanna. So Susquehanna Township down by two, backcourt pressure. You don't want to foul Banus, they want to pick the right guy to foul. They're waiting for the right opportunity and the right guy Banus had a break, gets it, blocked. A foul. Boy, Murray's done a good job drawing the foul tonight. Well, you know, first off, nice, nice pass by Matt Banus to draw in. He did a very good job of using uh, his opportunity to draw his man in, but Murray here is an example of those three sport athletes that, that Hershey picks out. Murray missed the first. But by making this one, Greg, he puts Susquehanna in a situation where they have to make a three, and Paul wants to talk about that right now for sure. Paul will keep it here. 59 seconds left. And uh, we'll take a look at, at both benches talking it over. Now, now, what do you do again? Susquehanna Township had that big three right there, but they're not, they have not been hot from the three-point line. Well, you know, that's, you know, when you're at home and that's where you find the players and that's where people step up and make plays. You know, I was a roller and, and you know, you, you, there's players at Stilton that make shots that, that, that might come off the bench for five seconds and, uh, and that's how stars are born. But right now, um, Hershey's talking about, you know, what they need to do, whether they make or miss this coming down to court and Susquehanna's talking about what kind of shot and what kind of uh, play we're going to run uh, to get to, to respond to whatever happens here on the foul line. And they will respond to whatever Addison Murray does. The six foot junior goes to the line. He's got three points tonight, all from the line. And A.J. Dean has the rebound. Under a minute left. Township trailing by two. At the Mac. The lead for Hershey is one. The lead for Township now one. Boy, you're talking about the three pointers in your own gym. Well, I'll tell you what. There's a theme developing here at the end of the game. It's called Mac and MacArthur. These guys, the, the m and M boys, uh, let me tell you something here. Uh, it's MacArthur and now it's Mack. And, and Coach Rogers is, 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 is seeing that he has a team that's more than A.J. Dean this year. And to win the, win, to win the uh, mid pen, uh, to win the Keystone Division, you gotta have the whole package. He is just a freshman. So now with 43 and a half seconds left, 43.5. Hershey gets a trip down court. Well, and the best thing for Hershey right now, Coach, is they want to get to the rim and get fouled because, uh, you know, other than Murray on that last, they've been hitting their foul shots. Uh, and so look, look for uh, Hershey uh, to look to isolate and get a good, Good, uh, naturally you'll take an outside J if it presents itself. But look for them to get to the foul line, maybe maybe pound that ball inside a little. Well, you knew something when we picked this first game of the year for our league game. This is always a good, this is always a, a great rivalry over the years. Susquehanna Township has dominated as of late, although Hershey won uh, last year, but the, that broke an eight game winning streak last year by the Indians. And here we go, final 43 seconds. Hershey down by one, they've got the basketball. Trojans bring it across. They're down by one. Banus kicking it back out to Brantley. 
Oh.